the whole concept of this YouTube channel is to be transparent, right? Yeah, yeah that's unbiased, yeah. not sponsored. We're, we're not sponsored, right? No, we're not sponsored. Yeah, we're not sponsored. Hi, this is Gabe Oji-san. Hey, Ruben Danach here. And where are we today? Uh, Alright, so we're just along Sunrise Terrace right now. Mm. So many nanan houses around here. But we're mm. gonna go check out the Alana today. Alana. Uh, District 28. Like you the name. Come. As a foreigner, mm. you're not allowed to buy a landed home in Singapore. Right, right. But you can purchase a class of house. Or oh, at least that's a nice. unit. A big question on everyone's mind usually is mm. what's the difference between a cluster home and a landed house? Cluster house is essentially like a landed house, it's strata title. Okay. And okay. Uh, the only difference is that you get facilities. Like so, pools and gyms? Like pools, gyms. Mm. Now, you don't usually get that in a landed house. There are 78 units here. Okay. Uh, we're going to be going to perhaps one of the biggest unit variations. Wow. Uh, so let's go have a look. Excited. Let's go. So, we're yeah. officially inside the Alana now. It has a tropical resort feeling, definitely. Yeah. It's actually a Hawaiian themed. So the word ah. Alana actually means fair and beautiful. And it's actually split into four different themes. Mm. Oh. Kai, Nani, Kala, and Ola. It's a 103 year leasehold, started in 2013. The development TOP back in 2018, so it's only two years old. There are four different developments as well here, types A, B, C, and D, but we'll get to that in just a bit. For now, we're gonna go check out the rest All of it. Right. So it's Garden Pavilion. Garden Pavilion. Wow. Very nicely put together. I mean, MCST have actually maintained this. Uh, Beautiful. Yeah, very well. They just recently vanished it as well. Yeah. It's sheltered. It's like a children's pool. It's not a children's pool, mm. uh, but I guess you could double it up as that as well. It essentially is two spars. Right. So it's a very nice uh, little space. Just beyond that, we get a 30 meter pool, which we're uh, gonna go check out. Just All right, Ruben, this yeah. place is beautiful. If we didn't have this much greenery, it probably wouldn't look so nice. Right, right. exactly. Now, right here, uh, this is a 30 meter pool. Is that certain houses have direct access to the pool? Yeah. One not so good thing about that, I feel, is that it's not so private. Oh, and like if someone's swimming here and they can take a pee, you oh. know, everyone could see you. That's why some houses I, I see, uh, they already have curtains. This is just uh, something that comes with having a cluster home. But I like the concept. Together. Lots of greeneries, this pool is beautiful. I would say it's pretty small. Right? It's not the only pool, there's actually oh. a bigger one which we'll check out. bigger one? Wow, this is, <laughs> yeah. this is huge! And uh, it's 50 meters down. 50 meters down. Yes. This is huge. Because there's so many water spaces along the way, and because the walkways are a little bit tiny, you get the possibility of yourself falling in, and especially with like little kids running around. And and if you if you come home drunk, if you come home drunk, <laughs> oh, you might fall down. Man. The MTSD is constantly doing works right. to to keep it fresh and clean. Right, right, right. But I noticed there's no kids pool. Yeah, I mean the the one we saw earlier, that spa pavilion, that could serve as a mini kids pool. So mm, um, you right. do have a playground, however, so we could go check it out. Sure. If you Minimalist. <laughs> it's it, <laughs> too free. It's a, I feel like it's a good space, but there just hasn't been too much. Uh, right, right, right. If I were a kid, I think I'll get bored in uh, <laughs> yeah. one week. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, but yeah. 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 I, think, I think there's lots of more things they can play. So we're just outside the gym right mm. now. Um, before we go in, I just want to show you something very quickly. Do you see these two little water coolers right here? Yeah. It's a good input. Going in, maybe from your home, you might not be bothered about bringing mm. a water mm. bottle. So it's good to have this here. The washroom is just next to here. You get really high ceilings. Yeah. I mean, the gym itself is, I would say it's pretty small, but yeah. I like how the seating is very high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We only have two treadmills, that, that. We have one bench and yeah, some more exercise yeah. equipment. So, so not a lot, but I mean, considering it's only 78 units. Mm. Um, and one more thing as well is because the cluster homes are so big, you could, you know, chances are you could even have a gym, uh, indoor gym in your own home, right? One thing I like though is uh, obviously the glass facade uh, brings a lot more light in. Right, so right. Perhaps the views aren't the best. Mm. I'm having a good workout here. Just prepping for buying your home here? <laughs> yeah, I'm prepping. It's warming up. Do, do you want to check out the unit now? Can, yeah. I, can I just finish my yeah. last rep? Whew. So this is a 3,500 wow. square feet. Mm. Uh, remember how we mentioned that earlier, there are four different types of cluster houses. Right, right. So okay. It's really, really big. And yeah. uh, it comes in at about 900 plus uh, PSF, mm. which makes it about 3.5 million. Beautiful, man. Like, no. This is the living room area? Yeah. It's 
it's not the biggest of spaces just yet. Mm. Um, but if you consider the width, so if you look from, from this end all yes. the way down there, mm. just past the dining area, uh, it's about 7.5 meters. Okay. So that's the biggest USP of uh, the unit. Alright. So over here you get, I mean, an extension of the space. Mm. Uh, you definitely have to be creative with this sec view. Uh, it's not really... I like it though. You like it? Yeah, I like it. What? Will this unit be furnished? It will be furnished. Oh, um, that's great. You would have to top out 19,000 more. 19,000. Uh, for, for the interior design, which has already been done. Yeah, I like it, I like it. You can see. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so, how do you like your new unit? <laughs> <laughs> Between um, a condo high rise and a cluster home, would you, would you pick a cluster home? Because I know a lot of the condos we reviewed pre previously, a uh, $19 million penthouse. No, I, I feel like most of the cars goes to the location, right? Yeah. This the feel, the yeah. vibe, I'm already I'm in love with it. Yeah. Mm. Look at the rest of the unit. Um, just around here you have your first common bar. Cool. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen this in Singapore. It's, uh, it's a, a mini ceremony. dungeon of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> we, have a, we have a dungeon. Give me a dungeon cut again. I love dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so over here, uh, you get your bomb shelter. Bomb shelter there. It's, it's pretty lengthy actually. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh so wow! Storage space, obviously. This is the biggest bomb shelter I've ever seen. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, it's so it's cool. Actually, that's why you see like bomb shelters in HGV flats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah, this, is, this is real big. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, but again, this is um, where I mentioned earlier you get your wow. dryer uh, and your washer. Right, so they're just as mm. empty as opposed to having just one washer and dryer to get that. So that's it. Lead to the parking lot. Yeah. So you get two parking lots. Uh, which okay. you have to pay for as well. It's included in the total floor area. Mm. And one thing to note for cluster houses, you mm. don't usually get visitor parking lot. Because you have two lots here, assuming that you own only one car, which might not really be the case, mm. uh, you you are then allowed another lot for your, your visitor friend. Okay. Um, in which case, if you do have two cars, then your friend will likely have to park somewhere else. That's uh, that's a downside of the person. Yeah, yeah. Not much parking spaces. Right. And this is toilet. 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 Yeah. Uh, pretty spacious. Mm. Uh, you can have a look. Fittings are by Grover. Uh, this is rain shower. We have a rain shower. Yeah, you get your bed at here as well. Okay, moving on to the kitchen. Alright, full glass window. Nice. I think it adds to the spaciousness of the kitchen. It's not the biggest space. If you want to add a dry kitchen, you could perhaps do it over there, but it would take away from the dining space. Right. I love the huge windows. Yeah. In the view. Yeah, it's nice that the drying rack is kind of an open concept, right? So it doesn't block uh, yeah. the view in a sense. So take a um, Everything is taken. Your fridge is taken as well. Mm. Yeah. We have Quite a bit of extra storage space. So this could serve as a oh. counter. Storage space below here as well and it's bifold doors. With the dining here, uh, this easily sits uh, it's a six seater mm. with the the ends. I think you could perhaps put an eight seater as well, you know, I think there's ample space around here. Right. There are three different side gates mm. in this development on either end. This is one of them right here. So you all you have ah, to do is okay. come out of your house and the side gate's right there. I mean, you definitely get people walking around here. Already your neighbor. Right, yeah, and it's not it's not enclosed. So really anyone mm. you can find anyone just standing outside right. your, your door. Yeah I noticed if you're a, if you're a private person yeah. it's definitely not for you. So we're gonna go upstairs in just a little bit. Mm. But what I want you to pay attention to is so listen now. Alright? Yeah and listen, listen now. Yeah, oh, it's soundproof, right? Pretty different. It's really, and I think this is a big thing because you're right. actually situated by the road. You don't even hear the car going past as well. Right, and, it, and it's a narrow road, so you won't have like a humongous, like a train, like a yeah, truck yeah. coming in. So. Yeah, so there aren't many schools as well, very isolated. So yeah, it's, it, you really get the entire landed feel. The ceilings here actually go up to 3.5 to 3.8 meters, right? So it feels a little more spacious. We're gonna go check out the master bedroom show. Big enough space for a king size bed. Oh cool, you have even a table here. We have a balcony. Yes, so we see open air. Oh, okay, okay. But you can actually move this. Oh cool, cool. The view of the pool. So amazing. And it yeah. again affords privacy to the unit. Get your walk-in wardrobe room here. Nice. nice. Well, I love the wood. Then you have your hand racks here. Cool. Toilet. Ah. 
Yeah. 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 Even the fast cars. <laughs> and this is, I think, to me, mm. the biggest uh, bus I've ever seen so far. The biggest bus, I mean, yeah. It is, it is pretty big. It was so very mm. yeah, so the shower, the water doesn't come out, you know, completely separated. The toilet and the bath. Mm -hmm. uh, First, common bedroom. Okay. Uh, again, it comes with a balcony. Uh, yeah. A mini balcony, not the biggest, overlooks the road. Mm. Right. And a study area. Oh, so. and, and a nice TV. I think for most condo units, right, when you have a common bedroom and you put a queen size bed in, you usually don't really have much space for the Right, study. exactly. But over here, you exactly. can see that, that afforded extra space. On oh, the third bedroom. The third bedroom. Um, right here, again, queen size space. Nice. It's, I think, a little bit smaller. It's a bit smaller, so they don't have a uh, study space. Yeah. Oh, cool. Box. It's a Jack and Jill, in the sense that you have to Ah, right, 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 right. right. So, oh, this is smart. Ruben, you, you didn't tell me we had a third floor. Surprise, surprise! Oh my god! <laughs> you have all these staircases, right? You're essentially paying for the extra space, mm -hmm. which is not really usable, you know, in a sense. Yeah. Do we have a balcony? It's more than a balcony. It's a roof terrace. Roof terrace. Oh, I see already. Pretty bright, you know. Yeah, I think like for most landed houses and cluster houses, the they're more dark. They're very dark. Yeah, the staircase, the staircase areas get really uh, dark and um, But I think it's good to see that you have full length glass here. So yeah. Okay. Well, you won't really have a spectacular view like the, the other the other penthouses we we've done. But the the feel is nice. Like I'm sure you could put a you know a portable yeah. like, barbecue pit. Yeah. Um, there's some electricity. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Electrical software. This barrier here. You can actually knock it down. Right? Oh! So you, you get a much bigger usable space as opposed to having like a dissection. Right, right, right. So right here, I mean, this is... <laughs> Another bedroom! <laughs> Another bedroom. And uh, I think this functions very well as a guest room of sorts. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, cool. Nice and cozy. Nice and cozy. Even got a closet. Mm -hmm. Do you see how I said that could have been knocked off? This area. Yeah. Ah. So you get basically an entire space. When it's raining like today, mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll be wet. Some of the facilities before, right? Like that was actually sheltered by glass. Right. Uh, so yeah, I mean you could have you could easily just add that in right here. This is on the third floor. So chances are if you are you know an elderly person, it mm. might be a little bit hard to access this. But this is a type A. Uh, I mentioned earlier there are mm. four types of type A, B, C, and D. Uh, type A is the one with the bigger uh, 7.5 width. Okay. Uh, type B is the one with the lift. Ah, so that's actually catered to multi-generational right, right. um, families and uh, yeah in that sense I think that's the only downside of this mm. you know yeah, not many people realize when you have a stair in a house that you have to be going up and down every day it gets a little bit tiring uh, but you definitely get fitter from that alright so this has been our very first class mm. demo uh, it's the first time you've been to a class demo okay. well, what do you think of uh, the concept? I, I know it's not for everyone because it kind of lacks privacy but I love it. I love the concept. I love how we have a pool in the middle of like all the other uh, units. Right. I mean, if you were to choose between a landed home and a classic home, I mean, assuming we put out like the free hole and the east hole, um, I, I feel like it's easier to. Uh, it's it's more maintained. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For, for ah, for right. Yeah. yeah, and mm -hmm. we have facilities as well. Mm -hmm. which Speaking of which, uh, maintenance fees are I believe 650 to 750 Oh, so you need to pay. So you do have to pay because it is after all, you know, share. Versus condos, I prefer this. Yeah. That's just my preference. Yeah. Location's a big point as well. Yeah. We, we are kind of in the outskirts, so it's no man's land. We call this Ulu, right? Ulu. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, are there any restaurants or like hawker centers around? So I did a quick Google check mm. just now. Uh, the closest is about a kilometer away. Uh, yeah. So it's it's pretty far. You're gonna need a car. Yeah, you'll need definitely. a car, definitely. Um, but on that note, you do have uh, shuttle bus services. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so that's been supplied by um, mm. by his organization. That's great. And uh, that runs at least from 7 30 in the morning all the way to about 7 at night to three different locations. Right. So Greenwich. So Greenwich is just around the corner of Salita. Um, you also have Amokyo Station, the Chicken Station. So I think that's more for the kids, right? Whereas right. I mean, as an adult, chances are you're gonna try. How much was this unit again? Okay, so this unit, uh, mm. it's 3,500 square feet at about 900 plus PSF. Uh, I think it comes up to about 3.3 million. 3.3 million. Um, exclusive of the $19,000 interior design, which has already been put through. Right, right. Yeah. I feel like it's more cost effective than the, the other videos we've done right. at Orchard. Like the nine, $19 million dollar house. Yeah, yeah, because those were just paying for the location, right? Yeah, yeah. exclusivity. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, uh, overall, I like it. Yeah, like this yeah, I like it. Yeah, I love it. 
Alright right, guys, well that about wraps up the video for today with Git. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, and uh, most importantly, leave us a comment. Tell mm. us what you want to see improve and what you want to see. Okay. See you guys soon.